This presentation is about a proposal by Ontario Power Generation to develop a deep geologic repository for the long-term management of its low and intermediate level waste. My name is Mark Jensen. I'm the director of DGR Geoscience and Research, and my responsibilities have been the geoscience aspects of this proposal. The proposal at a glance is shown in this particular slide. In particular, with respect to the geology, we understand that the site is underlain by a sedimentary sequence 840 meters thick. This includes 34 identifiable bedrock formations that are horizontally layered, that are geologically old, hundreds of millions of years. And we also know that within these sediments that there is no groundwater flow. But what's particularly important is the design taking best advantage of the natural attributes of this site by positioning the repository at a depth of 680 meters within the Coburg Formation. Within this massive limestone formation, it is positioned beneath 200 meters of shale. And this shale provides a formidable barrier that protects and isolates the repository from the surface. Early in the project, an understanding of the geologic conditions was established based on historical information. That's shown here in this geologic cross section. As you can see within this section, which extends from Georgian Bay in the east well out into Lake Huron, there is a lateral continuity in the bedrock formations across the site. They essentially blanket the repository horizon, which can be seen. Also important is Lake Huron. You can see the depth of Lake Huron and its deepest depth, in particular, within 30 kilometers of the site. And there are still 400 plus meters of bedrock separating the repository from the lake bottom. This information was used to establish a conceptual understanding of the site, which was divided into three groundwater systems. An upper groundwater system that was fresh within the upper 100 to 200 meters, a transitional system that was lower permeability and higher salinity, and the deep groundwater system in which the repository is emplaced with extremely low permeability rocks and extremely saline pore fluids. At this depth, there is no groundwater flow. What was particularly important about developing the conceptual model early in the process was the development of site features or the identification of site attributes that would lend themselves to the DGR's safety. In particular, the predictability of the bedrock formations, that they were near horizontally layered and laterally extensive. That there were multiple bedrock formations that would contain and isolate the waste with the repository at the Coburg Horizon that the groundwater system in which it was placed was stable and had been resilient to change and groundwater motion was almost non-existent. Also considered natural resources potential for future human intrusion. This included oil and gas, base minerals, salt and shale gas. We also looked at the seismicity of the zone and considered this area to be seismically quiet. We also focused on understanding the geomechanical stability, that the excavations associated with the repository would be dry and stable. But perhaps most important was that groundwater resources and the Great Lakes would be protected at all times. Particularly important with this site-specific characterization data has been its ability to help us assess what sort of potential future impacts the repository may have on Lake Huron and the Great Lakes. In this particular slide, you can see the stratigraphy and you can see the location of the waste and the repository from Lake Huron. The waste has been particularly positioned within a geologically ancient system, one that is hundreds of millions of years old and from which we have information to suggest that it has been undisturbed by surface events and has been isolated from the surface during those periods of time. The information that has been collected over the last decade has provided a compelling case that the DGR repository will cause essentially zero impact far into the future. The long-term safety of the DGR is based on a variety of information. This has included the geological information that has provided a compelling case that the repository has been positioned within a deep, stable, ancient geologic system suitable for long-term radioactive waste management purposes. It is also complemented by safety assessment calculations that look at a variety of different scenarios by which the repository would evolve. These scenarios are used to calculate potential impacts. And the resultant net of these assessments has been that the repository would be orders of magnitude safer than required by regulatory criterion. 
It is the combined knowledge of these two pieces that provides the assurance that the DGR will cause no harm in the future. I'd like to thank you for your time.